Welcome mates, I'm Bloodthirsty Lord, but you can call me Lordy, and today we're back on Paragon once again, and like a minute ago, the new hero trailer for Lieutenant Bellica was revealed, and this trailer is bloody beast. You'll be seeing in the background at this very moment, we'll also be doing a trailer breakdown of this actual trailer for the new hero, and to explain all the abilities that she has in game, and pretty much explain what they actually do, and what her kit actually is, and how much power she has to bring to the map of Agora, because she is a beast hero, and surprisingly, I got to play this hero at Epic Games as well, and she did pack a punch, and that is guaranteed. But before we get into this video, make sure you watch these two other videos where I talk about Lieutenant Bellica, pretty much the images I'll tease, and pretty much another breakdown on another little teaser they showed on the PlayStation Meetup or PlayStation uh, Conference they had in the morning. So that was pretty insane as well. Watch those videos before watching this, so you get a idea what we're talking about within this video. And also, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe button to keep up to date with all the greatest and latest Paragon Gaming news and Paragon Gaming content as always. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. As the trailer starts off, you see Rampage running away from someone and obviously that is Lieutenant Bellica and she does say some famous quotes and then she goes into this action-packed theme when she uses her basic attack to destroy Rampage. Then she chases the enemy and then there's Richter and Twin Blast getting knocked up by one of her abilities followed by her amazing suit. It is glorious. It looks like Murdoch 100%, like a female Murdoch like I said before. And then she drops down an ability which is like pretty much a explosive bomb and it's like what the hell is going on there and then out of nowhere she drops his drone it's like what is this kid and then she does some laser damage with that drone and goes into this first person action thing then you see the knock up ability once again oh my god guys this is really quick and then you have this action pack scene when chimera is on the floor she pulls out a pistol and bang boys she destroys chimera and this is interesting because some of you guys are like what the hell and then towards the very end you see murdoch and the hero Lieutenant Bellica together in a scene for the last like second, which is pretty cool Which means they obviously have a connection But I think we need to slow down this even more to explain her kit and her abilities Because that is the best way to understand this hero before she's actually released and before you get your hands on her When the upcoming Tuesday does come to be able to play her So you'll be seeing the gameplay or the trailer in the background of Lieutenant Bellica And also we're gonna see what Epic Games have to say about her kit and her abilities Because that's one interesting factor when you play a new hero We like to introduce you to the latest hero. We call this the burst caster Lieutenant Bellica she locks down lanes and eliminates those who attempt to challenge the law. You'll be able to play Lieutenant Bellica as a part of our Tuesday update on September 13th. Lieutenant Bellica is a burst caster, so keep that in mind. Also provides energy damage as her form of damage outputs, and she does fall into the affinities of order and intellect, which is a very interesting combo where you can pretty much build tanky and also have a lot of mana regen and a lot of damage output at the same time, so it's pretty interesting who specializes in zoning enemy heroes and mana control. One of her abilities is called Void Bomb. And the ability allows her to burst damage in her area after a short delay and restores mana for each enemy hit. And that ability was showcased within the actual trailer when she went and pretty much put a bomb next to Igin Scorch while he was under his own tower. The bomb disrupted and pretty much exploded after a certain time. And also she gained mana for every person that was hit in that area. Since there was only one person hit in that area, she gained a specific amount of mana due to that one kill that she got out of that all that one hit so it's pretty good it's a good burst damage ability within her kit but obviously it does take a bit of time to actually explode so take that into consideration because there is a time delay on that ability once activated one of her other abilities which is called seismic assault provides her a line skill shot that deals damage and knocks up enemies and this skill shot is something to be very terrified by because the time is unknown at this very moment but it is one dramatic ability because it can help the team combo so easily but if lieutenant belka does miss this ability then she can get caught out quite easily as well because this is our only form of CC within her kit due to the fact that she's a burst caster and not a crowd control caster. And the range on this ability is quite insane. You see in the trailer and it does quite a bit and it has so much range on the actual ability. It's compared to the Fae Bramble's patch, it's pretty much the same or even more than that. Her next ability is a very interesting ability. She can control a large area with Void Drone, which drains mana per second from enemy heroes standing in the area of effect, as well as zapping them for damage when they cast an ability. So that's one interesting ability and it's obviously doing a lot of synergy between her kits. We'll explain the ability synergies that she does have within her kit later on. Let's move on to the next part which is obviously her ultimate. Lieutenant Belka's ultimate is Neural Disruptor. Allows her to capitalize on low enemy mana by dealing damage nuke base on their missing mana to finish the fight. 
Oh my god, guys, this is so interesting. Her mana control is off the chain, and to pretty much deplete enemy heroes' mana as well is insane, and also to get a benefit out of that is just crazy. I'm gonna explain her kit and how it will actually work and what combos you can actually pull off with this character, because she is one very skilled hero to play. I'm gonna explain a combo or some interesting poking advantage that you gain while using this character in a fight or in lane, which will help you with your synergy of all your abilities all at once, because that's what you're trying to achieve when playing a hero like this, especially because of the burst damage so what you want to do is drop your void drone pretty much on area where the enemy might be and that makes the area pretty much a mana drain pull effect so the enemy that is in the area or the enemies they are losing mana and then also if they do cast their ability they will get zapped and lose a percentage of health due to the damage output of that void drone followed up by your void bomb because you've used some of your mana already and obviously you want to try to do some burst damage within your kit and this ability does have a time delay so you first deploy your void bomb and your void drone at the same time or void drone then void bomb and that's pretty much what the things you want to have because once your void bomb does explode it's doing damage and obviously you are gaining mana per hit that enemy that's in that location that got hit by void bomb and with the actual void drone being there if they try to escape they're also getting hit by that because they're most likely using their ability trying to teleport away like Gideon with his torn space or with Chimera trying to jump towards another hero with ambush there's so many things that could happen with this actual kit but to stop them from actually getting out of this and getting the most damage outputs and pretty much get the most effectiveness out of her kit you want to try and land a seismic assault ability which pretty much is your knockup ability that is a line skill shot and this will keep them in that area where they're constantly losing mana and the pulse bomb or the void bomb will explode and you get the damage out of that and pretty much do as much effectiveness within that little fight in lane or in a team fight but once you keep doing that because this is your pretty much your poke tactic and you've obviously done quite a bit of damage on the enemy hero you can follow it up by something else but also between these little engagements you want to use your basic attack as much as possible and then once the enemy team member is drained out of mana and it's low on health due to the fact that the pulse bombs and your poking ability slash combo is wrecking them all you have to do is activate your ultimate which is neural disrupt and obviously depending on the mana pool of the enemy hero if they have lower mana comp um, compared to what they usually have say if they are midway your damage will do midway damage if they have super low mana your damage of your ultimate is incredible and that's what you want to try and target for so you want to use your void drones as much as possible to drain the enemy mana and when the enemy plays are using their abilities they're also losing mana then you can abuse them with your neural disruptor which is a massive nuke out of your pistol that's all it is it's high amounts of damage and it's bloody insane this is 100 a combo that you should be utilizing in your matchups in lane in team fights to do high amounts of damage in less time and obviously to be able to abuse the enemy team members for every mistake they do because this hero excels in that but obviously you want to try to keep your distance because her abilities are all long ranged cast abilities since she is a ranged hero a ranged caster slash burst caster and burst casters are slowly becoming a thing within paragon and the animations for each ability are bloody insane have you seen the drone drop have you seen her pretty much pull out this halo sword and smash the ground with her ability it's just insane the way they design this character is flawless in my opinion I can't wait to see this come out into a grow and see how the members of the community and everyone else just play this hero to death and see how strong she can be. Because she is the female Murdoch in close range when it comes to her ultimate, but she does pack a punch no matter what. And that's what I like about this hero. The one of the most interesting factors about this hero, I want to see how people try to counter it. Do they counter it by pretty much building only energy armor since she does provide energy damage? Or will they chuck mana regen items within her kit as well? Because obviously then her ultimate is not and becomes pretty much completely useless and only does a small amount of damage when you do versa in a match also the armor on this character is obviously amazing i like it the actual body outfit and everything but there's obviously this symbol that comes up or this lettering which is opd i don't know what that stands for i might be a complete noob but i wish if any of you guys do understand what that means leave it down in the comment section down below just to help each other out because that's what we do on this channel we're positive we love to keep the energy and obviously love to help the mates out and most likely in my future videos i might talk about it as well as a little thing that I might mention. This is one very interesting moment because now they've connected laws between Murdoch and Lieutenant Bellica within a trailer. So that is pretty sick. I like the way they did that. And I'm hoping in the future we do get more videos like this or trailers when they just compare the laws between heroes or they do like a little tease at the very end or the start of the um, trailer of a new hero because that is pretty sick in my opinion. So by now you will be able to understand the character pretty much completely and you'll be able to play Lieutenant Bellica on September 13th 
on Paragon when it does come live within the next patch or the next patch update, which is 31.1 or 31.2 if they do want to sk skip it forward. I don't know, they always do amazing things at Epic Games. So expect the unexpected at Epic Games. But obviously, this video will teach you how to do combos, abilities, and pretty much anything else about Lieutenant Bellica. But mates, I want to know your thoughts about this new hero. Do you think she's great? Are you hyped for this hero? Do you like the kit of this hero? Because she is a very technical hero in my opinion, and she will be a very shining hero within the Agora, guaranteed. So make sure you leave a comment in the comment section down below. So mates, if you enjoyed this video, show your support, smash that play like button. Let's try to get 50 likes on this video. And if you mates want to see more Paragon Gaming content on my channel, all you have to do is share this with your friends and hit the subscribe button to become a mate today. And that is all for this video. Oh, time to go, but don't you worry. We'll back very soon. Hey, Dad's boys, you ain't seen nothing yet. Mates, once you see this hero in the Agora and she has her ultimate ready, make sure you hide because she's going to nuke the hell out of you. <laughs>